Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Alaska Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Josh and I'll be facilitating this panel this afternoon. Um, we have six universities presenting and we're about to hear from each of them. Um, just a couple of announcements before we get started. Um, I really encourage you to use the question and answer button on your screen to type questions to any of our presenters at any time. Um, you can ask questions related to specific uh, colleges. You can ask questions about the application process. Really, any general question you have about college admission is fair game. Your camera and microphone are turned off so the panelists can't see or hear you. So the only way you have to interact with us is through that Q&A button. Um, we'd love to answer your questions, so don't be shy. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions as part of this college fair series. And this presentation, as well as all the others, will be recorded. They'll be available on the same website where you registered for this in about a week, so check back uh, and you can revisit this or maybe see a different presentation that you missed. So without any Further ado, I will turn it over to our first presenter, which is Rachel from the University of Alaska Anchorage. All righty. Hi, everyone. My name is Rachel Towsley, and I'm an admissions counselor here at the University of Alaska Anchorage. And as a born and raised Alaskan, I'm really excited to share with you some information about UAA. Get that out of there. All right, so one of the greatest things about UAA is our location. So Anchorage is the biggest city in Alaska with nearly 300,000 people and UAA's campus is right in the middle. So we like to say our campus is urban wild, meaning that students have immediate access to shopping and dining and other city perks, but there's also 100 plus miles of biking and hiking on and around campus. So size wise, we have almost 12,000 students on campus, but that is about a one to 16 professor to student ratio, meaning that you can get the educational and research opportunities of attending a large school, while you can also get the assistance and one-on-one -on -one attention of a smaller university. UAA was recently ranked in the top 15% nationally for best long-term return on investment and ranked number one amongst our peers. That long-term return on investment means that graduates with a bachelor's degree will make more over the course of their life than those with no college degree. So UAA graduates have gone on to launch successful careers at company, companies like Microsoft, Alaska Airlines, Providence Health and Services, ConocoPhillips, and many others. So UAA is an open access institution, which means that we do try our best to decrease barriers to entry wherever possible. That means that we are test optional. So for example, while we do recommend that you take the ACT um, or SAT for scholarship reasons, they are not required for admission. Additionally, our application is free and it's a very straightforward application. It takes about 15 minutes to complete and there's no essay requirement. UAA serves the higher education needs of the state, its communities, and its diverse peoples through other campuses located in Kenai, Kodiak, Matsu, and Prince William Sound. So we have a really robust student life, both on and off campus. We offer division one and two competitive sports with attendance to games free for all students, as well as intramural teams. Our debate team is internationally ranked and has won against Harvard and other Ivy League schools and competitions. Our student government is also super involved and makes actual decisions and changes on campus. And we have six Greek organizations and over a hundred student clubs. Plus, if you can't find a club that you're super interested in, it's very easy to make your own. So as a major public university, the largest in Alaska, we have over 100 degree programs in everything from science and engineering to visual arts and business. Again, Anchorage is the hub of business and activity in Alaska. So we have tons of opportunities for hands-on learning as well as internships and jobs in the industry of your choice. And of course, if you are undecided, we do offer an exploratory major. So you can kind of figure out what you're interested in, what you're not interested in with the help from our specialized advisors. So we have distinct colleges for our different programs. So health, engineering, community and technical education, business and public policy, and arts and sciences. As a part of your degree program, you can also take some pretty cool electives that we offer like ice climbing or sea kayaking. 
Additionally, being in Alaska and at UAA specifically means that you have access to cutting edge research opportunities. So relating to studies like Arctic studies, climate change, natural resources, wildlife, and more, our students are doing some pretty amazing research in natural sciences, social sciences, economic development, justice, and beyond. So right here, staying in Alaska to attend UAA provides students with an affordable option for our education. So you can see here, the Alaska resident tuition per semester would be about 3,879 for full time, which is about 12 credits. And even if you're not currently an Alaska resident, there may be options that qualify you for resident tuition rate. So you can just fill out the resident tuition application for additional information. And there's also two big great opportunities to take advantage of is the UA Scholars Award, which is a $12,000 scholarship awarded to the Alaska high school students who are in the top 10% of their class at the end of their junior year as determined by their school. And then the Alaska Performance Scholarship, which is offered by the state run Alaska Commission on Post-Secondary Education. So if you wanted a change of scenery or if you wanted to attend college outside of Alaska, we offer both study abroad, international study abroad and national student exchange programs. And a great perk of these programs is that many of them do allow you to pay UAA tuition instead of the tuition of the school you're exchanging to, which saves you some money. And you can also be eligible to use your scholarships like the Alaska Performance or UA Scholars. And if you wanted to learn more, you can always check out our virtual tour or sign up for one of our green and gold visit days, which is also virtual, where myself or another admissions counselor will give you a quick, quick presentation about campus. And we also walk you through on a virtual tour. It's a great opportunity to get your questions answered in real time. And another virtual opportunity we have coming up is our academic preview day event, which is tailored to be relevant to high school seniors and will let you attend presentations from our different colleges and programs. And to, to wrap things up, UAA is a great public university that offers excellent academic programs with all kinds of resources. And you're also more than welcome to contact me. My contact information is right there um, with any questions you have. And thank you all so much for attending and listening. Thank you so much, Rachel. And our next university is University of Alaska Fairbanks. Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Lipka. I'm an admissions, or I'm a acting associate director of admissions at UAF. I'm excited that you're all here today and happy to tell you a little bit more about our institution. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me um, or anyone at our admissions office. Um, you can reach us by email or by calling us. So a little bit about UAF. Um, we are located in Fairbanks, just home of our, our, our main campus, our Trafietta campus, also our interior Alaska campus, and our community and technical college. We also have locations and community campuses around the state in Kotzebue, Nome, Bethel, and Dillingham. Um, some quick facts. We were, we were established over 100 years ago in 1917. Our total enrollment is, for all of our campuses is a little over 8,300 students. And on our main campus, we've got just a little over 5,400 students. We have a student to faculty ratio of 11 to one. Um, average class size is usually 20 to 25 students and often classes are even smaller than that. Um, we have, we're a world leader in climate change and Arctic research. And we are a, a, a large research university. We get over $100 million in research funding each year. Um, so as an undergraduate student, you have access to that research funding and we have a huge emphasis in it. We're also Alaska's only land, sea, and space grant university. So we do research in all of those areas. We're the only university in the world with a university-owned rocket launching facility. We're also a really traditional college campus. So all the um, amenities and, and opportunities that you would expect um, at a traditional college campus, you get that at UAF. Um, we have a lot of really active student clubs and organizations, a lot of ways to get involved and, and be social and, and really find a good sense of community. Um, we have residence life. Um, we do require our first year students from outside of Fairbanks to live on campus for a year. 
Um, and then after that, it's your option. And, and you can live on campus for all four years. We have residence halls, student apartment complex, all kinds of different options. And we also have programs that are gonna help you transition to college and ensure your success as a student at UAF. Um, we have great academic advisors. Um, we have rural student services to support students from rural Alaska. And we also have, if you are a first generation college student or low income, we have our student support services office. We have a lot of different degree options at UAF. Everything from semester long occupational endorsements to um, four year bachelor degree programs. Um, some, some, some of our po most popular degree programs, um, we have seven different engineering degrees. We have um, really strong sciences at UAF, biological sciences, wildlife biology. Um, we have great business programs, um, programs with, within accounting, sport and recreation business. We have a great school of education. Um, so if you want to be a teacher, you can study elementary or secondary education. We have a strong College of Liberal Arts, which has a wide variety of different programs, everything from Alaska Native Studies to justice, psychology, so social work. Um, we have a strong College of Fisheries and Ocean Sciences. And then we have our community and technical colleges, which have the college, which has programs that range from, um, you know, semester long programs to our two year degree programs. So the admissions process, um, three seniors out there, um, fall is a great time to apply and we recommend that you apply now. Um, you can send us your high school transcripts as they are now in progress. Um, we can accept unofficial or official transcripts to admit you. Um, you do have to send us your final official transcripts after you graduate, but we can, um, we can accept you now with the unofficial ones. And then we are waiving the SAT, ACT test score requirement through this um, upcoming 2021-2022 academic year. So seniors, no need to worry about submitting those test scores. Um, also, if you have taken the AP test, if you have AP test scores, um, if you have a three or higher, most of the time you will get transfer credit for those courses, so send us those scores. Um, and then also we're doing a lot of stuff virtually now since um, we can't do a lot of our traditional campus visit um, events in person. So we're doing everything virtual. Schedule a virtual tour with us. Come to our um, virtual campus preview day and ask lots of questions. Um, similar to UA, UAA, um, we, we have um, really affordable tuition. Um, you know, the first step in that process of figuring out how you're going to fund your education is, is do the FAFSA. Um, talk to a financial aid officer or one of our admission staff and we'll help you through that process. That's going to help you figure out what, you know, loans, scholarship grants you're going to be eligible for. Um, the system-wide University of Alaska scholarship deadline is February 15th. So submit that application and you'll be considered for scholarships at all of the University of Alaska campuses you've applied to. Um, but the key is um, do it before February 15th. Um, and then we have a four-year merit scholarship that's brand new at UAF. It's called the Nana Pledge. If you're eligible for this scholarship, you do get it for four years. Um, you just have to be sure to apply before June 15th of your senior year to be considered for it. And then just wrapping up here, um, a, a reminder again, applications for fall 2021 are open now. You don't have to submit your test scores and apply by June 15th to be eligible for the Nana Pledge Scholarship. So thank you so much. It was great to, to, to present to all of you today. And if you have any questions, please reach out to our admissions office. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Up next is the University of Alaska Southeast. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Brittany. I'm an admissions counselor here at the University of Alaska Southeast. And I'm here with my colleague. Hey, everyone. My name is Danielle Carlson. I am the rural admissions counselor at UAS. Yeah, and we're here to talk to you today all about the ice fields, oceans, and opportunities that await you here in Southeast Alaska at the University of Alaska Southeast. Uh, just real quick, all of our contact information is on the last slide. So if you have a question and we're not going to get and we don't get to it, just remember you can totally email us afterwards.
So if you're not familiar with where we're at, we're down here in beautiful Southeast Alaska, located in the Tongass National Rainforest, right on the ocean. Um, we are the smallest campus in the UA system. Um, our main campus in Juneau has about 1,000 students total, give or take, but we have sub campuses in Sitka and Ketchikan as well as many online programs. All right, even though we are a small campus, one of the things we are most proud of here at UAS is our awesome freshman housing. We have this beautiful big dorm that was just built in 2014. I believe it was the first year that it was open. And this is where all of our freshman students live. So as you can take note, there's a full size fridge and you don't have to bring your own microwave. We've got that there. You can see kind of how big the rooms are. So this is where you would imagine, this is where you can imagine your life as a freshman here. It also has like the nicest view in all of Juneau. You can see Mount McGinnis. You can see the tip of the Mendenhall Glacier. Super beautiful freshman housing. When Brittany and I were freshmen, this was not the dorm we're allowed to stay in. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> we are too old for that, but it is incredibly beautiful. And so we also have um, a pretty traditional campus, a really small, close-knit, um, area, everything is like pretty much within walking distance of each other, tons of club opportunities and lots of really great events that happen throughout the year. And now during a time of COVID, we really are trying to offer those events virtually. Um, you can learn a lot about them on our Instagram page, what we're up to. Um, but yeah, lots of really great campus life. We're still trying to stay connected even in a time of a national pandemic. So whether you're inside at UAS or outside, we have some of the best views and some of the best facilities. Um, on the left, you can see our big Egan Library. It's an awesome three-story library with lots of tutoring services and reference librarians to help you out and really great study spaces and nap places. And then over on the right, that's actually right on our main campus there. Um, that's Auk Lake, that's our dock right there. And then the kayaks are what are able to be rented from the rec center. Um, also really close to campus. So all of this is really accessible, really close and available to all our students. And on the note of the rec center, it's definitely the nicest gym floor in all of Juno. I can attest to that as an avid basketball player um, with tons of rental equipment like mountain bikes and cross country skis and camping gear. In Southeast Alaska, we're definitely big promoters of playing outside, even though our indoor facilities are very great as well. And so we don't have a ton of time to go through every single degree program we offer. There's a full list on our website, um, but we do offer lots of really unique undergraduate research opportunities um, in marine biology, environmental science. Our marine biology program is definitely our signature degree program. We have this really great facility right on Off Bay Harbor called the Anderson Building. Um, it's within walking distance of extensive marine habitat, literally located right on the shore of Ock Bay Harbor. Um, and so we do have lots of opportunities in the social sciences and humanities as well, but our signature degree program and what we're really known for is definitely our marine biology, environmental science, outdoor studies. Again, just because of our really great location down here, lots of opportunity um, to study the ocean and the, the really unique environment here in Southeast Alaska. All right, and just like UAA and UAF, we also offer study away opportunities. Um, if you feel like I'm an Alaska student and I need to get out, we totally understand. Uh, so you can study nationally, internationally, um, and for a semester or a year or a summer. And so all of these students are in different places. I'm actually on the slideshow, I don't know if you can tell, but I was a UAS student and I studied in Germany for a year. On the right, there's a student in Spain and then another student on National Student Exchange in Puerto Rico. And you can do all of this while paying your really affordable in-state tuition. Um, and I know that's probably a big factor for you all thinking about where you wanna to go to school is that really great in-state tuition you're offered here in the state of Alaska. Um, this link right here, right at the top, alaska.academicworks.com is that general scholarship application that puts your name into a huge pool of scholarships available to you throughout the whole UA Foundation, so UAA, UAF, UAS, but that is due on February 15th. It is open now. The sooner the better. 
Uh, I know it's really easy to procrastinate. February seems like it's a lifetime away, but now's a good time to get started. Take a look at that. Um, and then specifically at UAS, we offer the Chancellor's Housing Award, which is for any UA scholar or any APS recipient. Um, you get 50% off your first year of housing and 25% off your second year of housing. This is an application process, it's automatic. And then if you're an Alaska Native student listening in and you're interested in becoming a teacher someday, we offer here specifically at UAS the PETAS program. Um, and this is gonna help you with your tuition, fees, room, board, book supplies, all of that. Great opportunities. Again, February 15th, important date. All right, and there's our contact information. Danielle and I were both students. We both graduated from the University of Alaska Southeast and we're both from very different parts of Alaska. So we'd love to tell you all about it. And you can follow us on Instagram for all the UAS news and activities. And this is an aerial view of our campus right here. We're super close knit, really close together. Everything's within walking distance of each other. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you guys so much. And up next is Matsu College. Hi, <laughs> I'm having some technical difficulties with my presentation. So I hope that, uh, that you can um, hear it. Uh, my name is Mariana Weatherby and I'm an academic advisor at Matsu College. Matsu College is an extended campus of the University of Alaska Anchorage and we are located in the Matsu Valley. Matsu College offers an array of academic programs, first of which is the Associate of Arts, which is a general program. This program is very popular with undecided students or students who are pursuing a bachelor's degree. Or if you're a student that is thinking about um, possibly going out of state. Our, we also offer Associate of Applied Science programs. Associate of Applied Science degrees are geared towards specific subject areas and can help you enter into a career field. Also, they are easily transferable to a similar bachelor's degrees with UAA. And so some of those programs that we have are the accounting, computer systems and network technology, general business, human services, and paramedical technology. We also offer an occupational endorsement certificate and veterinary assisting as well as training in CNA and EMT, which a lot of the students that live out here in the Valley take advantage of. In addition, we work very closely with the UAA School of Nursing. So if you're a student that's thinking about um, going into nursing or um, any of the allied health fields, um, you can start out here. So a student who is um, going into nursing can actually complete their Associate of Applied Science or their four-year degree in nursing here at the Matsu College. Um, in addition to our programs, if you are a student that is thinking about um, possibly starting a degree through UAA, and if you live out in the Valley and um, you want to stay close to home, the Matsu College is an option for you. So you're always welcome to come in and, you know, give us a call to learn more information about what type of coursework you can um, start at the Matsu College. And so um, if you have any questions, so if this is the first time going to college for you, um, I'm a first generation student, which means that both of my parents did not attend college. So I didn't really have a lot of help and trying to figure out how to start college, um, we can 
definitely help you. So um, Audrey is actually here with me, Audrey Badger. Her and I actually work in student services. So part of student services is to help students um, with the admissions application. So we would give you information as to what you need to turn in. So um, more than likely you can turn in transcripts. Um, then if you are ready to register for classes, we have services that can show you how to register for classes as well. And if you are thinking about um, a certain degree, but you don't know where to start, we do have academic advisors. So an academic advisor is someone that would help you figure out um, what classes you will need for your degree, what type of testing, if any, is needed. Um, as well as we have financial aid advisors. So a financial aid advisor would be someone that could help you figure out how to pay for college and also finding resources that can support you with your goal so that in the end, you don't have a lot of student debt. So if you're using your UA Scholars or your Alaska Performance Scholarship, you can definitely um, use those um, scholarships at the Matsu College. We also have disability support services Better Student Services um, as well. Um, if you are needing to get more information about any of our programs, there is a very easy way to reach us. So you can either um, contact us by phone at 907-745-9762, or you can visit our website at www matsu.alaska.edu uh, and you can look at our degree programs um, as well on our website and um, if you click on student services you will be able to schedule an appointment directly with an academic advisor or financial aid whichever one you may need in addition to that if you just want to send us an email um, you can do that as well. You can contact us at uaa underscore msc info at alaska.edu. Um, and I just want to thank you all for um, your time. Um, I do want to let you know that um, it is very easy to transition. So if you need to, if you want to start at Natsu because it's close to your home, you can definitely do that. We'll be able to help you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Up next is Kenai Peninsula College. All right, just um, All right, there we go. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Knight. I'm the recruiter at Kenai Peninsula College. And Kenai Peninsula College is a community campus of the University of Alaska Anchorage. And we have two campus locations. We have one on the Kenai River or our Kenai River campus in Soldatna. And we literally are on the Kenai River. It's a beautiful campus, I love it. And our second campus is located um, in Kachemak Bay or our Homer campus. And um, so students get to explore the shores of the Kachemak Bay and, and really get to take part in the environment in which they study. So we serve students of all levels of education. We have a robust high school dual credit program, adult education, and then degrees of all shapes and sizes. So uh, programs offered, we have occupational endorsements and certificates that last anywhere from a semester to a year and a half. We have the certified nurse assistant program, corrections, our firefighter one preparation is really popular and they get lots of hands-on training. New this year is the petroleum production OEC and it's a great uh, program for students looking to go to work in the oil field given the LNG project and other things that are coming down the pipeline. And um, welding, we have a welding undergraduate certificate as well that is a popular program. Other degrees offered are uh, the general degree program, again, that's, uh, as Matt Sue had mentioned, is a great program if you're looking to transfer to another university or if you're undecided. The general business associate's degree is popular as well and completely online. And then industrial process instrumentation and process technology, both of which are programs leading to wonderful jobs in the oil field. Um, they are they can be completed at KPC, and we have students from both the Valley and Anchorage 
um, actually all over the state completing this program because we work with students and are flexible on their timeline. And then paramedic technology is a, is a really fun hands-on program for students looking to have a career as soon as they graduate. Additional programs that we offer uh, are th available through the University of Alaska Anchorage. And so we're able to offer students um, associate degrees in human services, nursing, um, rad tech, and early childhood development. And then we also have bachelor degree programs, again, that can be completed uh, fully from Kenai Peninsula College, but through that connection with UAA. So let's see. Other special programs, we have uh, Alaska Native Languages and a minor. And so you can take uh, courses in Denina, which is the language of the people in the Cook Inlet, um, Atna and Yupik as well. And then the Semester by the Bay program is an excellent program if you're studying marine biology at another university and want to come to Homer for a semester to learn about the Arctic marine sciences. So education in the time of COVID, I want to make sure that you guys know KPC is a leader in online education even prior to COVID. So we have prior to COVID had four online degree programs, just over 50% of our courses were already online or being taught via video conference um, or blended a combination of both. And so we have students from different parts of the peninsula that are able to take the same course. Um, we have lots of technology that that we can use to to record classes. So for students that have unique work schedules, we can be flexible with them. And then our paramedic program, even though it was face-to-face, -face, they did an excellent job uh, transitioning to online. And so they were able to um, send all of their students home with the tools they needed to still be successful in class. And so you can see here our paramedic students working in their living rooms on their mannequins and, and learning all the skills they need to be successful. So admissions requirements, as others have mentioned already, there's not a whole lot you need, 20 to 30 minutes, your contact inform information, your social security number, intended major, those kinds of things. There's no big hurdles to jump through, no application fee, no SAT, ACT scores or essays required. And so if you wanna to apply to KPC today, you can do so um, from our website. So kpc.alaska.edu. Tuition and residency, so the cost of attendance at KPC is the same as UAA, $234 per credit. Um, so for a full year at full time, you're looking at that, that budget of $26,000. Again, that's give or take, depending on if you're living on campus or, or things like that. So KPC doesn't currently offer on-campus housing, but we do have lots of local housing options available. And then as far as the residency policy, we, we currently waive out-of-state tuition. Um, but we do follow the UAA residency policy for students who are coming from out of state. And that February 15th deadline is coming up again. You must have your application for admission and your FAFSA completed before you're able to um, be eligible for those scholarships. So just a reminder. And be sure to follow us on social media. We have um, our Facebook page has lots of events. Uh, again, we're doing most of our events virtually now. And uh, we have an Instagram account that's been gaining some traction. You're welcome to visit our YouTube channel and check out um, some of our promotional videos and you can see my contact information there below. So um, yeah, I'm so glad that we could be here with you guys today and, and share what all of our unique universities have to offer. Um, I do wanna add that if you've never been to the Kenai Peninsula, there's some great reasons to come. We are a small town, um, we have a small town feel with modern amenities and lots of vibrant activities going on. Um, 5Ks, this was our Halloween one from a few years ago. We have a frozen river fest in February, so we're still getting out in the middle of winter and having fun, live music, that sort of thing. Lots of hiking trails nearby, um, refuge cabins to explore fishing. All these pictures are mine because I like to get out and have fun. But um, yeah, we, we hope to see you at Kenai Peninsula College. Thanks. Thank you so much, Emily. And last but certainly not least is Prince William Sound College.
All right, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sam and uh, I'm also joined by my colleague Sharice who will be answering any questions you have in the chat box. Um, so any Q&A, please feel free to let her know what your questions are. We'd be happy to help answer those. So as you can see from our college logo here, you can see exactly where Valdez is located. Um, you can also take out your right hand here, as several people have showed you already. Um, we're located about right here, kind of by that freckle there. So, um, so uh, PWSC is also an affordable small two-year college here in Valdez, Alaska. And uh, we're part of the larger University of Alaska system, as several people have mentioned. So you could come to us and do a few different certificate programs or a two-year degree and then transfer on to do a four-year degree as well. All right, so this is your classroom right behind me is the Valdez Glacier here in Valdez. And as you can tell, we, this is where we live. We live, work, study, and play here in Alaska. So whether you come to us wanting a degree in the outdoors, you want a career in the outdoors, um, or you just want to come and live in a really beautiful place, um, Valdez is really the perfect college town. Valdez is also a great spot to learn new skills. So one thing you'll find with us is that our students and staff love to work hard and we also love to play hard. As you can tell, it's raining out here in Valdez and uh, we're still out here, part of the life. Um, you all are very familiar with that. So um, here you also find hiking, kayaking, snowshoeing, um, even things like rafting and rock climbing. And so um, the great thing about PWSC is we have lots of classes that will help you learn about those activities and learn new skills as well. We also do have housing here in Valdez uh, that's close to everything you could possibly want in town. Uh, we have uh, many local shops and restaurants as well as a movie theater, an indoor swimming pool, an indoor rock wall. It's also close to many hiking trails as well that you can get to without having a car, which is um, really phenomenal to be able to have that here in Valdez. Um, our housing community is also a place that we've created that is warm and welcoming and safe for all of our students. Uh, we really do celebrate each other's accomplishments and get involved uh, locally with other volunteering efforts in town. Here are Olivia and Taylor who speak a little bit to their experience here at our college. So the other great thing about our institution here in Valdez is that because we are pretty small, we have a faculty ratio of 10 to 1, we really do get a chance to tailor student experiences uh, to help you meet your goals uh, that you have both personally and professionally. So the small class sizes, also internship opportunities and partnerships with local organizations here all contribute to getting you plugged into success here with us. And here we have one of our students, Ashley, who also speaks about PWSC. 
We offer an Associate of Arts in General Education, along with an Associate of Applied Science and Outdoor Leadership, and two certificate programs, Millwright and Web Development. So out-of-state students and in-state students all pay in-state tuition, which is great. And uh, many students come here to PWSC to get their GERs done. Uh, and what better place to do that than um, here in Valdez, is where we get to work and adventure together. Thank you for your time today. We really appreciate you all being here. Um, we'll stay in touch with you. We'd love to have you follow us on social media as well, especially Instagram. Uh, we post a lot of our student adventures there. And uh, before you know it, you'll, be, you'll feel like you're a part of the, the PWSC crew. So thank you for your time and we look forward to connecting with you. Thank you so much. That was our last presentation. But uh, if there are any more questions, we have just a couple of minutes left where we could answer any remaining questions that you have. You guys have been great and asked a lot of good questions. If there are no additional questions to pose, could I just have all of the, the college reps come back on and maybe we could um, each tell us their one favorite thing about their campus, whether it's a, their favorite um, campus tradition or favorite place or or just something that's that's unique and special about your college. Rachel, if you want to go first. Sorry about that. It took me a while to get back on. But yeah, I would definitely say um, the community of UAA. Everyone is super spirited. You can see someone wearing UAA branded gear almost everywhere you go. So I just think the, the sense of community is really great at UAA. Thank you so much. Caitlin? Um, I would say I love going to our UAF Nanook athletic games. Uh, we have 10 different athletic teams and the games are really fun to go to. A lot of students go and we also have intramural sports and those are for everybody. Um, and those are a lot of fun too. Awesome. Brittany. I think I just really love the natural environment in Juneau. I love the huge trees. It's very different than growing up in Palmer, Alaska. Very, I just love all the greenery and next to the ocean. Just very different. Awesome. Great. Thanks. Um, Mariana? Um, yes, so I like the small community feel of our campus. I like to get to know students um, and form really good relationships where you can actually see them graduating and then going on to like their dream career. So that I really, I really like, like doing that. That's really nice. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Emily. Hi. Yeah, I, I love that that the Kenai Peninsula is so small. And so I run into students all the time outside of the classroom and it's great to see them at the grocery store or at community events. And, and that's what I would say I love the most about our campus. Fantastic. And I think it was Sam. Yes, thank you. Um, one thing that we really focus on a lot here at PWSC is relationships. And so one of our favorite things to do when building relationships is really get outside and adventure together. Um, there's so many spots in all of Alaska and we're really privileged uh, to be able to do that on this land. So thank you. Thank you, Sam. And there are a couple of questions still being asked. Um, we'll leave the, the Zoom meeting open as those questions are being answered. And while our university representatives are answering those questions, I will thank you all so much for joining us. We really uh, were glad that you were here. Thank you so much to the presenters for um, their presentations and all the information that they shared with us. When you do close your window, there will be a quick four question survey and we'd really appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, like I said at the beginning, this is just one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for others. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as the recordings of all of the other sessions. Uh, so if you've gotten answers to your questions, great. If you still have other questions, don't be shy to email the representatives from the colleges directly. They've given you their email addresses. If not, you can find them on their websites. Um, admission officers always love to hear from the students that are interested in their campuses. So, so don't be shy, be in touch. 
um, and let them, let them know that you're thinking about them and what your questions are. So thanks again to everyone for joining us and have a great afternoon.